do my nose. <laughs> Everybody's got, I'm not alone, am I? Everybody's got a cold this time of year, but mine's the worst. I'm not, <clears throat> I haven't mentioned it to anybody, but it's really bad. What possessed you to do a 10 week January series? Well, I'll tell you why. It's, to think about it, it's, with the two part special, it's 12 weeks, and we normally do 12 shows a year, we do them all in one go. Um, but where it was all going a bit do lally was trying to get come off air in February and then try and get back on air in the summer with six shows. Because by the time you sort of scratch your bum in March, they've gone and done Top Gear Live and la la la. James has filmed Lego stairways or something. You've, you've kind of, your time's getting compressed. So I thought, let's do them all, let's take all year to put them together and then la la la. And then we'll run them in January and February when everyone is skint after Christmas. Um, this is not, what's that word? Uh, scheming at all. When everyone's skint and then they watch telly because people like watching telly after Christmas. What else have we got? We've got, uh, that I like, Australia, which I'm getting ready for next week, is mental. It's really good, because they go, <clears throat> you know, I think when Bentley built the Continental, or BMW built the Grand Coupe, they didn't think cattle herding, that's what these cars are meant for. Cow! We are revolutionising the world of cowboying. But to see those cars cattle herding, 4,000 cows in this, this farm is as big as, I'm not joking, not even doing a Jeremy, this is as big as the southeast of England, a farm, and they're on it, like herding cows, it's, it's proper, you know. Did you come up with that idea? Nah. No, we'd always want to go to the Northern Territories, and then Jeremy was going, let's not do sports cars for a big sexy drive, let's do GT cars. I fancy some GT cars, and then we thought, a Bentley in the Outback's wrong, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's wrong. So camping out in the Outback in a Bentley is not a pickup or a Land Cruiser. That's a bloody good thing. So, and sure enough, yeah, it's good. I have made fire. There's a snake in here. Where? There. There is. There is. Well, last series we had you, Afghanistan and Ukraine, and then and they started a war. I know, but we thought if we go to St. Petersburg, like Russia, Ukraine, we can calm it all down, you know? But if, if Australia, if the Northern Territories now say, right, we're splitting from the rest of Australia. Hello. There we go. Um, and if Canada decides that they don't like the Queen anymore and they want to split, hello, that'll be us. Come on! Car-wise, what else are we coming up? So we had the P1 918 last series. Yeah, James is in the LaFerrari. So, my God, that didn't know what hit it when he got in it. A million pounds! That's a proper prize. No fucking about. I've got a cold, though, so I don't know how I'm going to go with that. I'll get the lemon tip. I haven't mentioned it. Well, thank you, yeah. I think it's a bigger one than that. Stretches. <laughs> <laughs> Is that recording now? Back, because I need to get back here. 
What's your leg? Oh yes. I will. <laughs> It's probably a bit an interviewed up there. Talking about microcomputers. Might have to wait for those engines to stop. Look at the size of those cameras. That's a toy camera, then. Cool. At least you've got bigger ones then. <laughs> <laughs> so jump. But they don't oh. film you. They just, they just give you points. Right, your mate's going to start with the tiger with the look of it. Put this way, James, please. Guy in the left, that's a long way. Another retake. Okay, uh, Apart from calling the Messerschmitt British, that was pretty good. Mm. You called the Messerschmitt British. Yeah, British. No, no, no. No, it'll be a no, no. <laughs> I suppose he hasn't got a hind colour amongst it because that was a big part of the yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose he's gone on colours. Maybe, yeah. But you didn't make No, 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 no never. never. Is that his hind colours? <laughs> Someone else is telling me about the British bit, really, because he'll get lots of letters afterwards. He will do. Somebody should point him out to that. Who's the producer here? The guy with the um, white shirt. All oh, right. I'm surprised Malcolm hadn't said it's Malcolm. That's a good Hello all you lovely Top Gear people and welcome back to a brand new series. We've got 10 weeks of incredible action for you and amazing guests. First up this week is a rather special one. He's just sold out three dates at Wembley in the summer and he's one man and a guitar. He's also never ever driven a car before so um, let's see how he gets on. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Ed Sheeran. I thought it'd be quite funny to have the first time that I ever drive be on TV for Top Gear with the stick. Expectations of the stick of a teacher. Um, well, he doesn't speak, so that's helpful. Right, so you're getting into the driver's seat? I'm getting into the driver's seat. Do you have a game plan? Uh, my game plan is to drive safely for a bit. Three, two, one. It's late in the evening, lost on the side. That one was better, I think. Yeah. Is it better? Doesn't talk. I just want to be Jack Whitehall. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the on on the list. Yeah. The big off, um, it was all right because I wouldn't crash into anything, and apparently everyone does that at some point. Um, so yeah, I think it's all right. 
Um, I'm strangely relaxed in the car. Strangely relaxed, yeah. The first time Stig put his foot on the acceleration when we were learning, I was like, mm. but yeah, it's um, it's different when you're driving it. I won't be going for my license after this, no. Um, I'm touring until July, and then I should probably get my license then. Yeah. But I like this car. I never enjoyed speed until I sat in the passenger seat. No, sat in the driver's seat. Uh, when you're in the passenger seat, you always get a bit like that. But I think when you're in control of it, it's a good thing. You're starting to enjoy speed then? I enjoy speed. It's fun. <laughs> So how was it, Ed? How did you find the lap? Uh, I really liked the lap the first couple of times round, and then the more I did it, the more frustrated I got with it, if I messed up. So, um, yeah, it, it was a lot of adrenaline. Um, but yeah, it was fun, it was fun. I've never, I've never really, I've never driven, so to do, to kind of race for the first time was quite fun.